Hello everyone and welcome to the Super Mario 64 free running competition task 2 where the best free runners in the land come together and try to compete to see who was actually the best. There were um, 11 entrants this week or yeah this time this task um, three were DQ'd so there are eight to show off which I will watch twice and then three DQs to show off while we are waiting for the um, voting. So that will be... <laughs> Thanks for the sub, Cosmic. So that will be what we will be going over today. Starting out... Um one dot M64. The numbers don't really mean anything, by the way, I should mention. As in the eight it's just a uh, reverse alphabetical order. Let's load up M1.M64. The task this week, I should mention first, start in Bowser in the Dark World, Lethal Lava Land, Big Boo's Haunt, or Tall Tall Mountain. Collect 20 coins, at least 20 coins, and end with a star or pause exit. Let's load up M1. Starting off in TTM. Punches the Goomba. Lands on the sign. Goes off of it. About to do a backwards long jump. Pause backwards long jump here. Bunch of speed. Glitchy wall kick's there. I like that glitchy wall kick. <laughs> Another glitchy wall kick off of the... Oh, Slides down. Still lives, though. It's the bob -bombs chase after him. Goes for Chukya, it looks like. Throws and kills Chukya. Whoa! Some grind action there. Punches into the fly guy. Backwards long jumps off of the log. Doesn't get hit by the Goomba. Tricked me there. Goes through the camera. How are they gonna end it? How are they gonna end it? Going right into the star with a kick off the wall. Good job to um one. Next up, Super Mario 64 U. That M64. Load up their run. I'm not gonna read descriptions this time so, because yeah. Starts off also in Tall Tall Mountain. Same BLJ, no pausing this time. Kicks over the edge, just like the previous competitor. Gets all the yellow coins. Gets a first team to dive. Is he gonna land on the mushroom? Ooh, no, he gets an invisible wall to reflect. I didn't even know that was there. Although it makes sense. Goes over the mushrooms. Diving on top of them a lot. Ooh. Grinding on multiple edges of the mushroom there, and pause exits! Good job to Super Mario 64 U.M64. Next up... Quarter UI up, M64. What a weird series of letters, I wonder what those stand for. Also starting in TTM. TTM seems to be a big, um... Oof. Does some fancy sign, sign shenanigans there. Kills the Goomba. Clips through the wall here. Lands in the water above. Slides back down. Doesn't slide back down. Barely manages to make it over the edge there. Some wind grinding there. <laughs> oh man. Triple jumps. Sparkly triple jumps. Long jumps over here. Fly kicks off the edge, lands on the log. Mario's hoo hooing a lot. Grabs the box, makes it all the way up, no, reflects off the wall. And pause exits. Good job to QWERTY UI up that M64. An interesting task. Next up, 
Nice free run, that M64. I hope this is a nice free run. Number five. Also, starting off in TTM. Hmm, it's beginning to be a recurring theme. Goes off the sign, kills the Goomba. First, he's off that wall. <laughs> Punches, conserve speed. Get speed off the crazy box. First, he's up. Saves it with some firsties. <laughs> Punks. A little weird. Off that box. How are they gonna get up the red coins? Backflips up. Going over here now. Probably going to fall? Yes, they are. Going for the log. Where are they going? In the water. <laughs> Standing in the water and pause exits on the slope. That's a great ending. I like that. That was number five. Nice rerun. Next up, moviefileusa.m64. Let's load that up. Starts off on Lethal Lava Land, the first competitor so far. Kicks off the sign, triple jumps off the sign. Makes it all the way over to the bridge. <laughs> Bounces on the lava once, bounces on the lava again. Makes it past the eye into the hidden warp. Gets the wing cap. Triple jump dives with wing cap to be able to make it over. That was interesting. A little bit of an interesting cancel because of the platform moving underneath. Long jumps over here. Wall kicks off of the star structure. Makes it all the way to the volcano area. Goes inside... No, does not go inside the volcano. Tricked me. Goes on to the little curvy structure over here. <laughs> Dives with the box. But unfortunately it breaks. Kills one bully and pause exits. Good job to moviefileusa.m64. That was number four. Yes. Good job to them. Next up, hey noobs, dead m64. More like, hey gamers, am I right? Starting off also on Lethal Lava Land. One of the two competitors so far who has been in there. Gets the wing cap immediately. Doesn't need to go through the warp like the last competitor. Is flying. Pretty low angle here. Are they able to make it up? Are they able to make it... Are they? No, it doesn't look like they are. <laughs> it, they do. They make it all the way over here. A little bit of a dusty dive there. Trying to kill the bully. <laughs> Triple jump dives into the bully so they can actually hit him twice. They're not done yet, though. Not going to get that star. Long jumps over here. Doesn't make it. Goes into the volcano? No. Yes. This one actually goes into the volcano. Long jumps up. Getting some coins on the way to recover some of that health they got from lava bouncing. Gets crushed. Oh, unfortunate there. Wall jumps. Isn't able to make it up, having some difficulty. There they go, gets up and side flip. Butt slides over here. Lands on the... That's actually pretty difficult to do. Lands on the area with the pole. Jumps onto the other pole. Jumps and gets the star. Good job to Hey Noobs, that in 64 Like the routing they did there. I agree, good free run. Next up, free run competition, task 2, by me, that M64. Not actually by me, done by somebody else. Starting off in Big Blue's Haunt, the only person so far to start off in here. Some camera action here. Goes off the sign, goes in the right door. First he's up. Ooh, grinds. A little bit of grindy action here. Ooh. Whoa! Did they just land on the opposite side of the banner? Didn't even know you could do that. All this grinding. Goes back through the door. Thing you can do. 
fakes going back through the door that time. Tricks me. Excuse me? <laughs> what? I didn't even know that was a thing. See ups on the blue coin block, then ground pounds on it to get these blue coins. <laughs> Some camera manipulation. Really like that free run. Good job to free run competition task 2 by me.m64. Next up, frcomp.m64. Load theirs up. Number one. Also doing it in Big Boost Hunt, so there was quite a few courses chosen. <laughs> Delays that wall kick for a minute there. A little bit of glitchy sign action here. Goes in the door backwards. Makes it to the uh, elevator over here. Grinding on the elevator. <laughs> Gets smushed. Activates the elevator. Ooh. Long jumps. Backwards long jumps on the elevator to get a ton of speed. Reads the sign to get separate forwards. Long jumps, er, wall kick, sorry, up the side. Goes in the door. Fakes going back through the door. Also breaks the blue coin block. Another delayed wall kick with the long jump in the corner. And pause exits. Good job to free run comp. M64. Again, yes. Great long jumps done backwards by them. So that was all of the um, non DQ entries. Let's go through those one more time. Starting off number eight, once again, watching them one more time. Make sure to get your votes in. Let's go. Um, one started in Tall Tall Mountain. This time we'll be watching them without commentary, so as to have unbiased voting. Once again, this is number eight. Make sure to get your votes in to ta or free running comp 2018. Or eight entrants this time to the free run comp, which is quite a bit amount. After we go through these um, eight entries again, we'll be watching the three DQs, which will be interesting. Maybe one of the DQs entered in Bowser in the Dark World, or something similar to that. That was the only course not seen in the accepted, um, in the non-DQ entries. Next up, number 7, Super Mario 64U.m64. Slowed that, once again without commentary. In TTM. PU strats are banned as far as I'm aware, Jung Young. So if you went into a free run, you would or if you went into a PU, you would get DQ'd. Also, yes, PU, PU routing. Oh sorry, they are allowed? Alright, that's my fault. I apologize. Again, I'm watching these without commentary, so as to have unbiased viewing. Next up, QWERTY UI up, dot M64. Let's go. Starting off in TTM. Definitely some great entrance in this competition.
Even I am not aware of who actually was each entrant. The only person that knows is the task organizers. The only people, sorry, that know. And there's the pause exit. Once again, that was QWERTY UI OP, number 6. Number 5, nice free run, Dead M64. Let's load that up. The second time. Let's go. Once again, I'm watching these without commentary, so as to have unbiased voting. Yes, whoever did um, which M64 will be revealed um, after the voting is done. There's the pause exit. Because you have to nice free run. Number five. Next up, number four, movie file USA.m64. Once again, I'm watching these without commentary, so as to have unbiased voting. <laughs> Yeah, we... Plus, we are watching the runs for the second time. We watch all the free run competition runs twice, so people have enough time to get their votes in. Second time is done without commentary, first is done with commentary. That's why I'm not commentating any of these. So people can get fair votes. And there's the pause exit. Good job to moviefileusa.m64. Hey noobs, .m64 up number three. Hey gamers, with your razor death adders. Let's go. Make sure to get your votes in, everyone. This competition was short enough. This, or sorry, this task was short enough to be under 60 seconds. It's close, but they managed to get enough stuff in. When you're voting for the competition, make sure to include the number. For example, if you want to vote for this one, choose number three. Once again, watching these without commentary the second time around, so as to have unbiased voting. They get the star. Good job to HeyNoobs.m64. Next up, number two, free run competition task two by me.m64. Load that up. There's no patented 11059 enthusiasm for this section because this is the rewatch. I'm trying to be unbiased watching these without commentary, so the voting won't be biased on which runs I find cool or not. Although, in total, there definitely were some great free runs submitted to this competition. 
Yes, only people who participated can vote. There should be eight votes. That was number two, pre run competition task two by me.m64. And last one that's not DQ'd, frcomp.m64. Number one. Let's go! Once again, I'm watching these for the final time without commentary so as to have unbiased voting for the participants. Voting ends in four minutes from right now. That's more than enough time to watch some of the DQs. And that was it. That was the last free run number one, free run comp dot M64. Voting ends in a couple minutes. Make sure to get your votes in. Next up, the DQs. DQ number one. Okay, 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 okay. Dot M64. Over 60 seconds. Really not okay. Breaking the rule. Very unfortunate. Let's go. Oof. <laughs> Grabs onto the edge of the sign there. Oh, fakes going for the wing cap. Does some fancy wall jump shenanigans on it. There's the triple jump dive that a lot of competitors have been doing. Sly kicks there. <laughs> triple jump. A bonk, basically. Off of the bully. Flies over here, gets the one up. Goes in the volcano? No, goes over the volcano. Kills the or hits the bullies. <laughs> hits them both with a slide kick. Goes for the bouncy box. Bounces on lava. Fun trick you can do right there. Uses the wing cap to land on the um, platform. Kills all of the bullies. Goes up super high to kill the big bully. Gets the big bully stuck in lava, and then pause exits. Great free run. Very unfortunate that this went over time. I think it would have done pretty well. Unfortunate. Next up, Super Mario 64 USA at M64, which unfortunately desyncs. That's not good. It either desyncs or they messed up and didn't do that good of a task. Let's see which one. Looks like it desyncs. Or they are just, you know, trying to do some fun stuff in the castle. Look at this movement, really going crazy running around in the castle going against the wall going up against the wall here go going much faster against that one goes over tries to find the toad in the corner over here can they make it to them not sure oh that's the end of the task unfortunately cannot make it very unfortunate to super mario 64 usa.m64 next up the last dq XD is my best smiley.m64. M64 ends early, so it doesn't save and quit. Unfortunate. Very unfortunate. Let's go. Make sure to vote by PMing Free Run Competition 2018 your votes. Triple jumps up. Side flip dives back over. Jumps over the top of that platform. Tries to kill the eye, but unfortunately doesn't trigger the eye. 
unfortunate there. Collects a lot of the red coins. Jump dives over here. This guy likes a jump dive. Gets burned and then gets burned again. In the same jump. Gets bonked by the bully. Slide kicks into the bully. Ignores the bully, just goes right past him. Getting these bullies though. Trying to get all the bullies into one spot. Pauses. Oh no. Only pauses. They didn't actually pause the exit. So unfortunate. So unfortunate by XD is my best smiley.m64. Alright. I believe voting is either done or close to done now. So in the meantime, while we wait. In seventh place. Let's go back to you. In seventh place, with a total of two points, Forever Park, who was Movie File USA at M64. Let's watch them all back one more time. One of the Lethal Lava Land ones. He was the one that got some coins in the bridge and got in the warp. Triple jump dives over the gap there. Makes it over to the red coins. <laughs> Cancels the large uh, lava jump with the platform underneath him. It's all these yellows. Very important to get 20 coins during your run. If you didn't do that, it wasn't going to be allowed would have been DQ'd. There's the 20. Fake's going in the volcano. Trick me up there. Cancels the box by immediately landing on lava. Kills one bully and pause exits. Good job to Forever Park. Next up, Cosmic D12, finishing with 8 points. He was nice free run. M64. I agree. Nice free run. One of the ones in Tall Tall Mountain kills the Goomba at the start. First, he's off there. <laughs> Does the VSC there? Gets running speed from that box. First, he's up. Lives there with a couple of firsties. Makes his way over the mushrooms. Does some fancy box shenanigans right there gets three of the red coins, gets up by way of a side flip, goes over here, goes down near the log, on the log, all the way down to the bottom, swims into the wall, and pause exits on the slope. Great job to Cosmic. Yes, I agree. I can tell you were a little crunched on time by the end, but either way, good task. Next up, THC98 Tails, with Quirta UI Up, dated M64, and 10 points. Load up his run. He was another one of the ones in Tall Tall Mountain. Kicks off the sign there, gets some backward speed. Kills the Goomba. Goes through the wall there. A little trick you can do. Makes it all the way to the log with the wall kick and dives back on land. Some fancy wind grinding there. Does not die. Trick me. Sparkly triple jumps up. I believe the only person to use the sparkly triple jump in the whole competition. Or in this task, I mean. A little bit of a dusty dive there to change angle. Grabs the box. And pause exits. Good job to THC98. Great at tassing. 
pretty good at freerunning. Next up, Mad Ghost Deck, Super Mario 64U, barely beating THC 98 by one point. That's right, only winning by one point versus THC 98. Description was the Navy SEAL copy pasta. I didn't want to read it out loud. Backwards long jumps and kicks over the gap. Goes directly into the uh, crazy box. I really liked this invisible wall. Thought you were either going to do some fancy mushroom shenanigans or like die and miss, but that would have been bad. Did not expect the invisible wall at all. Get some red coins here, grinds on multiple edges of this mushroom, and then pause exits. Short and sweet. Good job to Mad Ghost Deck. Next up, Dargaad. With Am1.m64 finishing with 22 points, double the amount Mad Ghost Deck received. Let's load up his run. Let's go! Punches the Goomba immediately at the start, lands on the sign, pause BLJs, pause Lung Jump stuns backwards, glitchy wall kicks, nice glitchy wall kick, I really like that one, does it again right there, off the mushroom. I love that slope. Goes for Chucky right here. <laughs> wow! What a grind right there. Goes to the log, does another um, long jump down backwards. Up the mountain. Kills the Goomba. Still needs three more coins. In order to get the 20 needed for this competition. There he goes, there's the 20th. Gets wall kicks into the star. Great job to Dark God. That's right, no one actually did Bowser in the Dark World in any capacity. Even the DQs did. Next up in second place, Tomato Bird 8, barely beating Dargas by one point with free run competition task 2 by me. Finished with 23. Great job to Tomato Bird. Doing it this run in BBH. Bowser's big haunt. Fancy sign and camera shenanigans right here. Goes in the door. Some more fancy stuff. Lands on the outside of the banister. I wasn't even sure that was possible. Fancy stuff right here. I mean, this is so funny. I didn't know that um, book enemy could go through walls. Gets the blue coin block, messes with the camera, and pause exits. Good job to Tomato Bird, finishing in second place. Next up in first place, CSZ. FR comp at M64, 29 points. The king of free running takes first. Let's load up his run one more time. Let's go. Starting off in BBH, does the delayed ball kick there. <laughs> Some glitchy sign collision right there. Backwards into the door. Goes down the elevator. What? Some grinds right there. Gets smushed by the elevator. Long jumps off of it. Does the delayed long jump again. Does a long jump done backwards here. Go all the way around. Conserve speed with the text box. And wall kicks up the mansion. Goes in the door. Needs to get 20 coins here. Luckily, there's 20 coins from this blue coin block. Again, does the delayed wall kick. Oh, fakes the blue, fakes the blue, barely gets it before it runs out, and pause exits. Great job to CSZ, winning 
the task competition. Uh, task 2. Free running competition, sorry. Task 2. Next up for some DQs. Johannes. Hey noobs. Dead M64. More like, hey gamers. Author, I'm gonna like, totally like, description, own you noobs. Unfortunate. Gets the wing cap. This is the one that was purportedly not DQ'd, but actually was, because it was too long. Just barely over the time lengths. Free runs were limited to one minute for this competition. Kind of unfortunate. A little bit of a dusty dive there. This is the one that did the triple jump, bonk, double bonk, into the bully. Spawns the star. Goes into the volcano, question mark? Yes, into the volcano. Makes his way up the volcano. Gets smushed by the by the thing. Don't really know what to call that. Butt slides on it. Lands on the pole. Pretty difficult to do right there. Jumps off the pole right here. Jumps off this one. Goes directly into the star. Unfortunate that it was a little bit too long. Better luck next time, Johannes. Next up. Homer Funky. Okay, 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 okay. Dot M64. The winner of last task, unfortunately being DQ'd because his file was too long. Very unfortunate. Fancy with some signs right there. Fakes breaking the block. Instead does some shenanigans with it. Actually breaks with the ground pound. Triple jump dives over here. Barely manages to not land in the lava there. <laughs> Gets the triple jump bonk from the bully. I, was that a glitch wall kick? Can't even tell. Gets the one up. Jumps over the volcano. With a pause buffer jump. Goes for these bullies. Gets all of the yellow coins from that loop. Actually goes for the block. For the block. And, little known fact about that block, you can actually jump on lava with it. Tries to kill all of the bullies. Including the big bully. Actually manages to get the big bully stuck in the lava, and then pause exits. Very sick task. Unfortunate that it was a little bit too long. Breaking one of the rules. Unfortunate. Good job to you, Homer Funky. Next up. Glitch God Zero Glitch God, sorry, Zero One One Zero. Super Mario 64 USA dot M64 because it desyncs. Very unfortunate. <laughs> Author, damn it had to do this again. Description IDK send help lol. Welp. Gets hit by lava twice here. Gets hit by lava again here. And... This is the part where it's definitely desynced. Did not mean to land in the lava there. Now he's doing a free run in the castle. Crazy free run right here. Running into all of the walls. Running into this corner here. Showing off that Mario can actually move faster against the wall if he's moving more horizontally compared to going directly into the wall, and that's the end of the run. Unfortunate that it desynced. I liked the castle movement. Good job to Glitch Cat. Corner play around, I agree. Next up, the last DQ of this competition. So we're... M64 ends barely too early, so it doesn't save and quit. Unfortunate. Very unfortunate. His was, XD is my best smiley. Author, question marks, 
description. Hi. Hello. Unfortunate to... So we're... It starts off with a triple jump. Side flips back over here. Tries to kill the eye, but the eye do fortunately doesn't actually latch on to him. Only ends up running around it. It's for the red coins. Goes up with some dives over here. Guy likes jump dives. Gets burned twice in the same jump. Gets bonked by the bully. Bonks the bully right back. Hits him with a slide kick. Makes it all the way over with the help of that platform. Slide kicks into that bully. A little bit of conserved yaw there, I think. Or conserved pitch or roll or something. Unfortunate, he tries to find a way to pause exit, but doesn't get it, unfortunately, there. Instead, falls in the lava and dies. Very unfortunate. Anyways, that's the end of the Super Mario 64 freerunning competition 2018 freerunning 2. Congrats to all the participants. Congrats to CSZ for winning the competition. Make sure to tune in in two weeks if you want to see another free running competition, or tune in next week for the results of the regular task competition that aims for speed.